a century before the pilgrims landed at Plymouth Rock. 300 years before California became a state. Wine was being made in Florida. Florida, a name given by Spanish explorers in recognition of the state's beautiful fruits and flowers. And among that rich vegetation, lush native grapevines were discovered on Florida's east coast. Following the lead of the French, the Spanish settlers harvested the wild grapes and, applying the wine-making tradition of their homeland, converted Florida's wild muscadine into the first American wine. The muscadine. It evokes memories of sleepy summer afternoons in the deep south. Smooth, aromatic, and nostalgic muscadine wines. They're a southern specialty, produced nowhere else on earth. Through the centuries, Florida's rich soils and rolling hills have supported both vineyards and winemaking. And the success of muscadine wine is the byproduct of old world traditions and new world production methods. For example, scientists concerned with developing hybrid bunch grapes and improving the native muscadines have created a wider variety of wine grapes. For 70 years, scholars at Florida's universities have been committed to improving Sunshine State grapes. This research has developed varieties that flourish in Florida's subtropical climate, well suited to our soils, and are perfect for winemaking. The development of these new hybrid grapes with high fruit, taste, and aroma qualities secures the promise of a bright future for Florida's vineyards. Elegant and distinctive. New World Wine from Old World Traditions. The efforts of modern day pioneers aspiring to create the finest Florida can offer. The Florida vineyards are scattered throughout the state, with harvest times ranging from May to September. This conveniently coincides with the most popular time of year for Sunshine State tourists and visitors. On your mark, get set, stop! Visiting the wineries and vineyards in Florida is a fascinating experience for the whole family. You can stroll through the vineyard, view a harvest, watch the winemaking process. The corking, bottling, and labeling of delicious wines. And most exciting of all, you can actually sample the wonderful and distinctive varieties of Florida wines. Some vineyards even let visitors pick the grapes right off the vines. It's a wonderful way to take home a sample of Florida's finest.
if you can resist eating the fruits of your labor before you get home. If the grapes do make it home, you can try your own hand at winemaking or create a delicious jelly, jam, or gourmet meal with the fruit. This is pretty fun. We'll have to come back and do it again. Florida's vineyards, wineries, and flavorful wines. They're interesting parts of Florida history that few people know about. But one which more and more people are discovering. It's a part of Florida, beyond the beaches and amusement parks. If we could send you a message in a bottle, it would simply say, come sample our heritage and toast our good taste.